Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Café con Dulce. How do I motivate myself to get up every day and put effort into your day and life? You have inspired me since back when you were doing Forever 21 hauls. Always loved your spirit and just your go for your happiness. Thank you so much for still watching my videos after all this time. I, th I think it's like just having a switch of the way that you view the world that really allows me personally to tackle on my day and feel motivated and happy to do stuff. Sometimes it's easy to get caught up in day to day's work and your responsibilities and the things that you have to do. You honestly, you're just so caught up with your to-do list and the things that are going on around you that you actually forget to really live your life. And living your life to me just is, is giving my life personally, and this is just my point of view, is just giving my everyday life a purpose um, because I don't just want to be someone who exists in this world. I want to be able to live a life that is fulfilled. Life itself is such a miracle. The fact that we are, you and me are alive today and we're able to wake up in the morning and thank you God for another day of life. That's the first thing that I say when I wake up in the morning. Like the little things in life I find the most beautiful. Like this morning I came home from working out Jesse had already made coffee because he went to go pick me up from the gym and he had already made coffee and his coffee is my favorite coffee to drink ever in life. It's like the most comforting and soothing and soothing thing. So I walked into the front door and the moment that I opened the door, I just smelled this delicious scent of coffee and cinnamon. Jesse makes cafe de olla. We don't use the machine anymore. So it's so delicious and just that made me so happy just walking in and smelling one of my favorite scents and knowing that I'm going to have a cup of coffee with uh, with Jesse and we're going to start our day and it, everything is just starting off in a in a in a really positive in a positive way and there is days that I know you're going to feel like crap you're going to feel like throwing in the towel you're going to feel like you're not gonna feel your best. You're not gonna wanna do anything, not answer any emails, not go to work. You don't wanna do your responsibilities. I know there's so many days that come like that, but I think it's just trying to make the effort to have a great day, like making effort. Cause you can't just wake up and have an awesome day. Like you have to put in the effort because if not, then you're gonna let your negative thoughts just basically rule your whole day. And that's all that's gonna be playing in your mind. And once you start off the day in a with a negative attitude, let me tell you from experience, and I'm sure you guys can attest to this, it is really hard to get off that wagon once you're in it. Like once you're in that negative space, as many thoughts as you're saying, those negative thoughts are gonna be just out ruling the positive ones and it's just because you have to it's just in us sometimes to just be negative if that's kind of like the way that you your way of thinking was brought up the simple fact that you're asking about how to have a positive day that already tells me so much that you are taking action to having a great day and living a happy life a life that is fulfilled a life that gives meaning and when it comes to meaning i don't think meaning to life has to be like this great thing where you find like the cure for cancer which would be ideal you know a life fulfilled is really just enjoying every single second moment that you're able to you know get yourself into the moment any, any, any moment like that that you really take advantage and you try to do your best and not be so angry and not be so mean with people and just be kind to others, to strangers, um, you know, that would be wonderful. And But yeah, that's my answer, my really long answer to your question. Um, hopefully I answered it and if not, I am sure other people in the comments section are going to have wonderful and sage things to say to you. So uh, just read on down there. Some of you guys think I don't read the comments. I read your comments. When they're mean, when they're nice, I read all of your comments. Will you do a meet and greet in Ventura County? I live in Oxnard. Oh my gosh, that wouldn't that be so cool? And I absolutely love Oxnard. Um, my house that I grew up is technically in Camarillo, but it's not really in Camarillo. It's in Oxnard. And I went to school in Oxnard. I went to Channel Islands um, High School in Oxnard, somebody asked me also. Um, yeah, that's where I went. I love that town. And let me just tell you that all of my, uh, all of the people that I knew, not all of them, but, <laughs> cause I don't know everybody, but there is so many people that I still keep in touch from Oxnard that I went to high school with and elementary and junior high that um, 
that show me so much love and support. Like, that's how I feel because Fernando Vargas, I think he's from Oxnard, but he had a house in Oxnard with his family. I think he is from Oxnard. And when you know Fernando Vargas, he was like huge. I'm sure he still is. I'm sorry, I don't keep up with him anymore. <laughs> but he was like this huge boxer in 2005, in the early 2000s. And let me tell you, everybody in Oxnard was like bragging that we had um, Fernando Vargas, like an, like we had another Mexican like doing big things from our city. So I get so much love from some of my high school friends and people that I grew up with. So I just want to say thank you if you're out there. Irene, Edith, Priscilla, three of my favorite people. And um, I met those girls in high school and they're amazing. They show me so much love and support. Honestly, I feel blessed because of that. You know, there's so many things that I want to do, and this is the year to make them happen, guys. And I've always said that if I have my own jewelry line, my own cosmetic line, money, a certain percentage, is going to go directly towards helping kids um, who have cancer and hopefully finding a cure for childhood cancer. That is like something that I'm so passionate about because it's just such a horrible thing for children to go through, for anybody to go through. Um, do you guys remember Talia? You guys don't know who Talia Castellano is, you guys have to search her on Google and you're going to find the most amazing, beautiful spirit that walked on planet Earth and she was beautiful, you know, such a positive and outgoing person and she was so young and I always had a feeling that she was going to make it and I always just really hoped and prayed that she would. Um, but unfortunately she didn't and it's been several years now since she's gone to heaven and yeah, I think about her, you know, I think about her because she said, <laughs> she tweeted one time that she's like, does Dulce County look like Jessica Alba to you guys? And I was like, oh, Talia knows who I am because I know who she is. <laughs> and yeah, so she's definitely the beauty guru icon of the YouTube world. She really is. Okay guys, so I'm gonna break this down in two parts, okay, because I have more questions that are really good. Um, so thank you so much for watching today's Cafe Con Dulce episode. If you're interested in any of the other videos, I will link them. You can just find them in my channel, guys. And if you love my Cafe Con Dulce, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Have a blessed and beautiful day, and I'll see you guys in my next episode of Cafe Con Dulce.